Hey everyone, so I'm back here with another video. This time around I have some more Mega pickups to show you guys. Um, I only got four different uh, volumes altogether. I haven't been finding it as much lately. Uh, well, correction, I have been finding a lot lately, just nothing too interesting and nothing that I don't already have. Uh, so I just haven't been buying much. Uh, I did find a couple of other sort of interesting series, but at the time I just I wasn't too into them, so I just left them behind uh, in the stores. But I did uh, manage to pick up four, and uh, two of them are additions to a uh, previous collection, and two of them are uh, entirely new series for me. Uh, so I'm going to start off with these two. I got these at the value visual that I usually go to. Uh, they had these marked at $1.99 each, and I looked through the shelves to see if they had any more volumes of this, but they only had volumes 2 and 3. Uh, I currently over only, sorry, I currently only had, that still doesn't make sense. I only had uh, the first volume, and now I have the first three volumes. So for $1.99 each, I got Volume 2 and Volume 3 of Dot Hack uh, Legend of the Twilight. So that's Volume 2, and that one there is Volume 3. And, um, yep, I'm happy to be able to actually start reading these again. Uh, volume 1, I purchased that one many, many, many years ago, uh, and just always got distracted and never got around to actually... Uh, completing the uh, storyline. Uh, after that one there, at, well, after those two, I had gone to another value village, uh, one that's on the east end of the city that I rarely ever go to. Um, I happened to be in the area, so I went ahead and uh, took a look around, and I found this here. Uh, I actually didn't even know anything like this existed, but... Uh, either way, it was interesting enough, so I grabbed it, and at this value village, they have pretty random prices, and they only wanted a dollar forty nine for this, so I went ahead and definitely thought about uh grabbing this and I mean I did it's Star Trek the manga uh now, if anybody out there knows anything about this, why it even exists in the first place, please let me know in the comment section below, but I had no idea that there would be any kind of crossover like this, um, not to say that there's a crossover with any other series, um, at least I don't believe there is, but it's just, it's strange to see Star Trek in uh, manga form, it's just really strange, but who knows, I thought it was cheap enough uh, so I thought, why not go for it? Check it out. Uh, now the last mega that I got here, I got this today. I got it for a dollar forty nine, and it was at another value village, one that I've actually never been to before. Um, and for a dollar forty nine, I thought, well, it's a good enough deal. I do not know what this series is about. But it is the first volume in the series, and I think it is Korean, not Japanese. Uh, but I honestly don't know. I'm assuming that it's Korean because it's uh, read the uh, normal way instead of backwards like a Japanese manga. But it is... <sighs> I actually don't even know... Gad Gadarock Requiem Chorus. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, and it's by Huang or Wang Jiang Ho. Um, I really don't know what to say about this. It it just it, it looks kind of interesting. It was the first volume in the series, so I thought uh, grab it, check it out, see if it's any good, and if it's not, no harm done. It was only a dollar fifty. Uh, but yeah, I was lucky enough to find these and purchase them, four more for the collection, uh, but that's pretty much all that I got. So, as always, leave comments in the comment section below, anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. 
check out my Facebook, Twitter, website. They're all linked in the description below. And that's it. See ya.